Hello there, my friends. This is Star Wars Unlimited Shadows of the Galaxy Weekend. This product was just released yesterday. And we're, an op we're opening a box of packs. So we're going to take one from each of the different artistic works. And this is pack 7 out of 24 in this box. And we've been unboxing them in this order, and we've been pretty lucky. So we've been... We actually got... Um, uh, Kylo's Tie Silencer, which right now currently sells for about thirty-one thirty on TCG Player, and Ray sells for sixteen nineteen. So just between these two cards, we're right around. Uh, and if we add in actually the stolen land speeder, hyperspace, and Z even Zori as a uh, foil card, we're right around fifty bucks. Uh, so this uh, box is paying for itself at this rate. Let's see if we can get another legendary card, or who knows, maybe even a showcase. Nope, no showcase. Boy, wouldn't that be cool? I would love to have a showcase. Um, all right, Gar Saxon. We already have a Gar Saxon. Not a problem. Uh, Reliance, I'm sorry, Remnant Science Facility. It's not a special card at all. You know what I'd love? I'd love to see Wrecker. I haven't seen Wrecker yet. All right, Heroic Renegade, Outland TIE Fighter, Enforcer, Desperate Attack, Freighter, Starfighter, Hex and Brood, Street Gang Recruiter, Criminal Muscle. All right, so let's get to the uncommons. We got Crosshair. I do have a Crosshair. Actually, I have three now. So this will be the third one, so that's perfect. That makes a set. And I have one that's uh, Hyperspace. So uh, that's actually, um, I don't know, I didn't see him on the TCG. I'll have to look it up, but I don't think it's uh, that much. But it could be like good trade fodder if we get another crosshair. And I like crosshair. I always, I, I like the conflicted characters, you know. I don't know why. I like complex stories. And uh, Unexpected Escape, we have this as well. So we've got two of these now. So this could come in handy for Vigilance because you can exhaust a unit and rescue a captured card from a unit if that's necessary. Bravado. <clears throat> I think we have three of these now. So that'll come in handy. And we got a Wild Rancor as our rare card. And it's a double aggression aspect. 6-6-8 six, six, with Overwhelm. Deal two damage to each other ground unit, including yours, I think. But, like, that's pretty powerful stuff. Could you imagine, like, having a whole bunch of space units and then putting on this wild rancor and just, like, decimating your enemy's um, uh, small ground units? That would be pretty cool. If you use this in, ex in uh, conjunction with bombing run, wow. You could do some serious damage. So I'm pretty happy about that because I don't have one of those yet. So we'll put that in a rare pile. Yeah, we got a pretty card. Uh, it's a common card, but it's foil. Uh, you always get one foil in every pack. So Night Owl Skirmisher. And you can smuggle this card. So pretty cool looking card. All right, we'll put that in the common foils. We'll open our Boba deck here. And we are on deck eight. See, I'm keeping track with the <coughs> damage counters. Cad Bane. Cod Burn. And uh, we already have him in Jabba's Palace. We already have him as well. All right. Moment of Glory. Bambury Scrapple Shot. Attention Block Rescue. Vigilant Pursuit Craft. Take a Cactus. All right. We have a common hyperspace. So Clan Challengers. Very cool looking card. And, uh, yeah, that hyperspace is really nice. Raid 3, whoa, and Overwhelm when it's upgraded. That's pretty impressive stuff right there. Maklumki, which I hope you guys can help me pronounce that. Uh, Gray Squadron Y-Wing, Smuggler Starfighter. All right. Now, I think I have four of these. Now, I have the Millennium Falcon... And I think I have four of these. These are going to be popular cards because you can smuggle this card. So if you, like, draw this and you can, like, put this down as a resource, this can play 
Uh, and if you play from your hand, it gets ambushed. So that's kind of nice. So you can just bring it out and boom. So this is Millennium Falcon Lando's Pride. The other one piece of junk from uh, the original set. It'd be fun to play both of these cards in the same deck. And maybe with even like a Han Solo or a Lando uh, leader. That would be pretty cool. So let's see what else we got. In our uncommons, you usually get three uncommons at least. One of them could be rare. Enforced loyalty. Draw, no, defeat a friendly unit. If you do, draw two cards. Whoa, and whoa. So one of our uncommons ends up being a rare, and it's a hyperspace Darth Maul. Now, I know that Darth Maul is worth some money because just the regular Darth Maul is worth money. So this hyperspace mall, this is worth more than some of the legendary cards. So I'm going to be very excited to see how much this is worth. Very cool. That's a nice draw right there. Craig and Gore. Okay, you guys tell me who the heck Craig and Gore is. And uh, yeah, when an enemy, enemy unit attacks your base, give a shield token to a friendly unit in the same arena as the attacker. 666. And uh, pretty cool... Um, Warbird Captain. So somebody's going to have to tell me what series this is from. And we also got a foil uncommon card. So we got two rares in this pack and a hyperspace. Yeah, one of them is hyperspace Darth Maul. And this rare is a foil. And we got a foil uncommon. So head hunting. Attack with three units, one at a time. They can't attack bases for these attacks. Each bounty hunter that attacks this way gains plus two, plus zero for this attack. That's pretty strong stuff right there. All right, so let's see. Uncommon foils go here. And we'll open one more pack on this video and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you all, uh, 13,700 subscribers plus for subscribing to the channel you guys playing this game i assume you are if you're watching these videos and uh let's see you give it a little bit of luck is this a showcase <sighs> nope not a showcase bosk so but we did get a hyperspace space so space spice mines that's pretty cool all right let's go through number nine this is uh pack number nine Pack number eight was really cool. We got that Darth Maul um, hyperspace. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so Reputable Hunter. Wanted Insurgents, not my favorite card. Outlaw Corona, we have a nice hyperspace for all of those. Nima Outpost Constables, Antagonizer, Foundling. Resourceful Pursuers, no bargain. Liberated Slaves. All right, Lurking Tie Phantom. I think we have three of these now, so we can use this for trade bait. Um, if we get another one, that's nice because it can't be captured through abilities. So that's an uncommon card. Bounty Hunter's Quarry, we have this. The Client, we have this. All right, and we got a rare. If Aunt Mon, which I like saying Elephant Mon, but it's not. Head of Security, choosing non, an enemy non-leader unit that attacked your base this phase, a friendly unit in the... Same arena captures that unit. So that's pretty cool. So a lot of good villainy cards here. So that's our rare card. And then we got a really good looking uh, foil card, but it is common. And so it's a hyperspace foil. So that's cool. Could be worth a dollar or two. So that was an okay um, video. I think the Darth Maul is the highlight of that video. This is as good as a as valuable as some of the legendary cards. I'll go look that up. And uh, if you tune in in the next video, I'll tell you what it's all about. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you on the next one. And we'll keep this party going. Happy Star Wars weekend.